Apple has been listening to you since you've had Siri. If you've had it turned on, they've been listening to your conversations with Siri. And if you have ever used Siri by mistake, anything going on in the background or anywhere. That's just what they do. They needed that to go ahead and advance their AI to make Siri better and make it improved. And they're still doing it. A lot of people have raised issues with this and have told Apple they need to allow us to turn this off. Well, it's finally happened. There was a way before, but it was kind of like a hack. And I didn't want to go through that because it wasn't very clean. And I just didn't trust it enough to show you all how it works. So this is now set up in the software. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything you need to know. Welcome, everybody. I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone fixes, tips, tricks, tutorials, carrier conversation, please do me a huge favor, smack that subscribe button, and go ahead and hit that like. Turn on notifications if you want to know the moment a video comes out, because a lot of times I do stuff that you want to know right away like this one. So make sure you go ahead and ring that bell as well. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and just jump into this. So there is a current update to Apple for 13.20, which allows you to go ahead and turn this feature off. If you've not went through and updated, I would suggest you do. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll link a video at top so you can go ahead and take a look at that and get it set up to where you have it installed. But continue watching this so you know exactly what to do once you get it installed. You'll be presented with this screen. And it basically tells you, help improve Siri and dictation by allowing Apple to store and review audio of your Siri and dictation interactions on this iPhone or iPad and on any connected HomePod. You can change this later in the settings for each device. This data is not associated with your Apple ID and will only be stored for a limited time. So they don't store it forever, but they do store it and people are actually listening to it. Yes, it's not associated with your Apple ID, but nowadays how technology is getting along, who knows how long it'll be till they could just match your voice with it. I know we're a little away, but just say. So when you get to this screen, you have the option to do share audio recording, which is what you've been doing since day one. Or you could choose not now, which will stop it from going through and recording. I'm going to go through and show you how to shut it off in case you did hit share. And this is later down the road and you have it turned on and you want to turn it off. I'm going to go through and show you those settings because they're kind of hidden, which is very interesting that they've kind of not put them with everything else, but put them off to the side, if you will. So what we want to do first is go ahead and tap on settings. And then we'll go down to Siri and search. We'll select that. Here it gives you all the options for Siri. And you can go ahead and set them up. So it does say something here about Siri and dictation history. It does save that. And it also says Siri can help you get things done just by asking. And then it has their privacy policy. You click on the privacy policy, it'll go through and bring it up. It'll let you know all about it. With this, you can go ahead and read through this if you'd like. It is pretty long. But basically, you're agreeing to let them listen to your stuff. So let's go ahead and hit done. Let's go ahead and go into Siri and dictation history we're gonna go ahead and delete this let's go ahead and choose delete and then delete again your Syrian dictation history will be deleted so this goes through and sends a notification to the servers to go ahead and parse that information to get rid of it so it's not done instant because it's not on your phone anymore it's in the cloud it's up in the sky. <laughs> so there's no access to it. They have it right now. But now they're going to go ahead and delete it. If you weren't familiar, dictation is basically like when you're in a text message and you hit the microphone and you talk to it and it types for you. So it's also saving everything you do there as well. Let's go ahead and choose dismiss. Let's go ahead and find where we turn this setting off. Yeah, we deleted it, 
but it's still going to go ahead and pick up future ones. Why can't you delete it from within here? Well, I'm guessing they need as much data as they can get. That is very important. And when you've had an unlimited amount and you finally slow it down, every little bit matters. So I think that's why they put it hidden somewhere else. So let's go ahead and hit settings. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to choose privacy. Here we're going to scroll down and there's analytics and improvements. We're going to go ahead and tap on that. Yeah, they really hit it. <laughs> and here is improve Siri and dictation. I currently have it turned off. I'm, I like to be as private as I can because I feel they get enough information from us already. So I even have uh, iCloud analytics off as well. I try to turn everything off. <laughs> So definitely make sure you turn that improve Siri and dictation off. That will stop the recordings of everything you say going to Apple and it will make sure that you're safe and none of your information is sent out there. If you don't mind them having it, you can leave it on, but just don't say anything really wrong. <laughs> also, if you didn't know, I do have a amazing tips and tricks video on my website at helpfultutorials.net. Make sure you go ahead and check that out. It's absolutely free. And here are some other videos I think you'll really enjoy. Thank you so much for the view.